Getty The North Korean leader has agreed to meet with South Korea at Truce Village The two states will host their first leaders' summit in more than 10 years on April 27 at the village of Panmunjom in Korea's demilitarized zone. The town is the famed location for the signing of the armistice which ended the Korean War in 1953. Only two such meetings between the countries have ever been held since the Korean War, in 2000 in Pyongyang and in 2007 again in Panmunjom. North Korea's chief, Delegate Ri sung won said, Over the past 80 days or so, many events that were unprecedented in inter-Korean relations took place. Both nations agreed to hold the summit after Mr. Jae-in sent a delegation to Pyongyang to meet the North Korean leader. The two sides said in a joint statement that they will meet on April 4 to hammer out final details of the summit such as news releases, security and staffing support. Mr. Gwon added. We will have a fair number of issues to resolve on a working level for preparations over the next month. But if the two sides deeply understand the historic significance and meaning of the summit and give their all, we will be able to solve all problems swiftly and amicably. Getty representatives from North and South Korea agreed to hold a summit next month. The town is known as the Truce Village by both North and South Korea. However the two countries are still technically at war because no peace treaty was ever actually signed following the armistice. Panmunjom has been described as a faded theme park with a military twist, with six meeting huts and no sign of civilian life. The village is also known as the Joint Security Area as soldiers from both countries stand guard face to face. It is unknown what will be discussed at next month's summit or if Donald Trump is to attend, as previously rumored. But Kim has confirmed that Pyongyang is willing to hold a summit with the U.S. president. And Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said earlier this week there were no immediate plans for a Russia-North Korea summit, or for a meeting between Russian President Vladimir Putin and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. A senior Chinese official visiting South Korea today said Kim's visit to Beijing would help ease tensions and lead to the denuclearization of the Korean peninsula. Yang Jiki said, We believe. Kim's visit will help the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, ensure peace and security of the Korean Peninsula and resolve problems regarding the peninsula through political negotiations and discussions. Mr. Jiki is expected to meet other security and diplomatic officials and brief them on Kim's visit. The Chinese envoy is also scheduled to meet the South Korean president on Friday. Images have emerged of the Kim and China's President Xi Jinping shaking hands and standing in front of their respective national flags. The leader of the Hermit Kingdom said in the meeting that he was committed to denuclearization after sparking World War III fears with a series of missile tests. He added, if South Korea and the U.S. respond to our efforts in good faith, build a peaceful and stable atmosphere, and adopt phased and simultaneous steps for peace, the issue of denuclearization on the peninsula can be resolved. The issue of denuclearization of the Korean peninsula can be resolved, if South Korea and the United States respond to our efforts with goodwill, create an atmosphere of peace and stability while taking progressive and synchronous measures for the realization of peace. It is thought that this is Kim's first visit to China since his father's death in 2011.